State. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and hot Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. That was up 289, S&P 55. That's nine-tenths and one and four-tenths. NASDAQ's down two and three-tenths or 284 points. One and three-tenths for the Russell. One and seven-tenths for the uh, semis. That's 48 points. Trend is down about 1% or 129 points out there now. Apple happens to be in my upper right-hand panel out here. And if we take a look at today's volume inside of Apple, yesterday it was making a high with 70 million shares. So far today, 38 million shares to the downside. That's also going against this little gap up or breakout. And that breakout was done with 89 million shares. So Apple is pulling back with lighter volume. It's trading above the top of its daily profile, 136.97. Actually, looks like this could be setting up the B to C leg of an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. So a light volume pullback, at least as of 2 o'clock in the afternoon for Apple. If I take a look at my intraday 10-minute time frame chart here for the NQ, and we take a look at what's transpired since the open, where you're going to see the high volume out there, look at this. Look at the descending trend line out here from a volume standpoint. So volume has not been increasing as price has been moving lower. Volume has been decreasing as price has been moving lower. Again, another signal that perhaps what the markets are really doing are setting up the B to C point. Don't know that yet. We don't uh, well, have a confirmation of that, of an A to B equals CD to the upside. If we go take a look at our white background charts for the indices out here, we also can come up with additional price targets. Those price targets are the red oscillator and change line, which in the case of the Dow Jones Industrials would be 37.32. In the case of the S&P 500 would be 37.86. Price would need to close below those levels to suggest that we've got real trouble in River City. The NDX 100, it's 11,527. Now, those numbers are going to change, folks, as price moves up and down. So you got to use them as a, a guideline. The Russell 2000, the number would be 1773. The Sox is right now has tested and so far rejected, but the day's not over. That red oscillator and change line, which is printing at the 2658 level. For the transports, it's 13,128. Or 121 for the composite NASDAQ. It's 11.049 out there. So, folks, looks like we've just got your basic light volume pullback. It may be setting up the B to C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. And I'll see you back here tomorrow on a wonderful Wednesday. Take care.